Hey, what's up, my dear friends? How are you? It's been a long time. <laughs> Actually, it's been centuries. <laughs> I haven't been out here in YouTube for quite a while. I think about two years. That's a long time. And I've been procrastinating, you know, coming out here to say hello, especially with all the nonsense, all the craziness that is going on in the world with the global economic recession. And in my own terms, I would say it's a global economic crisis because when it comes to that point in the world where families, people are unable to pay rent to keep roof over their heads, then it's crisis, in my own opinion. My heart breaks about what is going on around the globe, everywhere. I mean, the food is astronomically expensive. People cannot afford food, people cannot afford rent, people cannot afford basic needs of life. What world are we living in? Things has definitely changed for me in the past two years. <laughs> First of all, I cut off my dreadlocks. You remember I used to have a long dreadlocks. Now, mm -mm. I can no longer justify spending $150 to $200 just to wash and retrace my hair and put colors on it. That is unthinkable. So no, we are doing adjustment, eliminating certain, you know, cost or expenses that we needed to eliminate in order to accommodate what's important like food. So I cut off my hair. And then <laughs> I realized that that is the best decision that I ever had. My only regret was why didn't I cut it earlier before then. So I can sleep well. I can you know, wash my hair on, on the shower and all of that. So I feel so well. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Another thing is um, I lost interest in politics. Honestly, why wouldn't I? Because it doesn't look like there is anybody in charge in all of the countries across the globe. It doesn't look that like there is government in any country. Because if they are, why are, why is humanity suffering? Why are family with little kids out on the street homeless? Why are senior citizens, people who have worked all their lives and paid gigantic taxes into the system, why is the government not catering or providing housing, affordable housing for senior citizens? Does anybody deserve to be out on the street or camping in their vehicles at that age in life? This hurts me deep down to the core. I've lost my both parents, but I cannot imagine any of my parents being in that situation. I think the senior citizens, the homeless senior citizens is the one that gets to me. It really breaks my heart. These people that we elect every four years does not deserve my vote, does not even deserve my time, my energy to talk about them. Why? We elect them, put them in Washington, D.C. to go make millions of money for themselves and for their families to make generational wealth at our backs. And then every four years, am I, I am expected to go out there to vote for them. For what? None of them have justified, you know, my vote. Why? Even if I'm, you know, uh, at least, thank God, I still have my roof over my head. But I am broken that many cannot. And that is not okay. How can working people, people who work hard, pay so much taxes in the system and they cannot be able to afford any level of apartment? I don't care if it is studio apartment, one bedroom apartment, 
everything is astronomical. I was just looking at the renting listing in New Jersey and I was shocked. What's going on? I mean, the housing crisis in 2008, as far as I'm concerned, is way better than what we are dealing with right now. How can anybody justify paying two-bedroom apartment for $2,005 or $3,000 every month in this United States? People work, but they don't have that money because of, you know, the astronomical payroll taxes. And people all only talk about payroll taxes, but there are other forms of taxation. After payroll taxes, you pay property taxes, you pay um, sales taxes, service taxes, all of those taxation. They take, I don't even think whether people have 30% of their growth after all of this crazy taxation and bills. And then servicing the loans that people have, nothing is left. So how are people supposed to, where are they supposed to come up with $3,000 to pay for their rent? These are people with little kids. I mean, I can understand single people might, you know, like share an apartment, but even sharing an apartment, everybody wants their privacy. No one that is working hard should be made or compelled to share their personal space. The politicians, the government of every country have failed their citizens. From the Washington DC, they go over there talking about nonsense. All they need us is to vote for them to go to the to Washington DC, okay, to work for corporations. To make more money, a ton, tons of money from the lobbyists. They are all, all the lawmakers are all millionaires, and that's not coming from their salaries. They are all corrupt. But America knows how to cover themselves up and ranting about other countries being corrupt. No country is as much corrupt as America. Especially their politicians. So all of these things is happening. They're not even talking about it. They don't care that people are losing their houses, that children are hungry, senior, senior citizens are out on the street. They don't care. So why should I vote for them? So I have lost interest in politics. I'm going to clean my YouTube channel and delete every political videos out there. I don't care. From now on, I'm going to be talking about what is important to me. I'm going to be talking about my personal stories, okay? Talking about um, everything else that is important to me, that I think that might benefit, you know, people of the world. I'm tired of politics. All the countries in the world is in autopilot. No one is in charge. We are just waiting, sitting around, to the day is going to crash, because this is a slow motion crash that we are all we are in now. And sadly, government, so-called government in nations across the world, is not seeing this as an emergency humanity crisis. That is supposed to be. They're not seeing it like that. How did we come to this point? Well, I don't want to go off because <laughs> I, I just I'm just here to say hello and to ask everybody how are you doing? And also to tell you that I'm I'm okay. I'm still alive. I'm just dealing with a lot of mess, just like everybody else is doing. I'll be gradually coming back to YouTube because I really want to be here. Honestly, I do. Trust me, I do. You know, sometimes, you know, I disappear because there are so many things that I'm dealing with. We're going to be talking about a whole lot of things, you know, throwing out certain things, certain information that is going to be benefiting everybody else, not screaming, you know, about politics and all of that, you know, and um, some group of people like Republicans and Democrats and why are people are talking about this? Which party has made your life any any meaningful? Which of the parties I'm asking you, whether Democrat or Republican, which one of them has made your life any better? So why are you invested into that nonsensical? I'm just asking. <laughs> because you can, you know, invest your energy in something 
that can benefit you. Not some stupid, selfish old men out there in Washington, D.C., building generational wealth for their families and letting you hang dry with yours. And you're still going to be out on social media talking about them, you know? I mean, I think that the scientist needs to start examining people, people's brain because, you know, I think that politics is kind of a brain disease, even though people know that these people are not serving them. They are not there for their interest. They go there to Washington, D.C. to be talking about nonsense, doing whatever they have to do, making money for themselves, don't care about you, don't care if you die or live. But you're still fighting people on social media talking about that. No. Mm -mm. I'm done. So that's why I'm going to be cleaning all of my political videos to talk about real things that is affecting humanity. Thank you so much, everybody. Again, it's very nice being out here and speaking to you again. I love you. Don't forget, okay? Keep subscribing, okay? Keep watching my old videos, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much. Take care. Stay blessed. Keep going. Keep pushing. Don't give up, okay? I believe that we will come through this. There has been more difficult situations in the past that we were able to overcome. These two we will overcome. So thank you. Bye. I will see you shortly.